Today, I'm at Porsche Centre Chester, picking up this Mamba Green Porsche Panamera 4 e-hybrid Sport Turismo. So I'm just leaving Porsche Centre Chester in the Panamera. Oh, it's lovely in here. It is absolutely stunning. This interior is incredible. So, let me just say straight away, this video is gonna be very different to normal. You're probably gonna expect me to park up somewhere, get out, have a look at the design of this car go through why this lights over here and some of the design technology but no we're not doing that today this video is going to be different because as i sit here now hopefully you would have seen our tycam film if you haven't the link's in the top of the screen now as i sit here right now in this car that video hasn't been filmed yet and we're actually shooting that video over the coming days and i've got this car over the coming days and this thing is actually gonna be our support slash camera car. And also, this is my first real experience with Porsche as a brand. And I've got this car for a few days. So while I thought I'd bring you along for the experience of a petrol head, I'm, I have this op amazing opportunity to pick this car up from Porsche Centre Chester. And I just wanna show you what it's really like to drive a Panamera. Okay, so immediately, as you'd expect, the Panamera feels epic. It is so cool. I mean, fully electric or E, well, hybrid mode. And it's just, it's so comfortable. Incredibly comfortable. Although, it's also very fast. And this car has the sports exhaust and, oh, it sounds incredible. Okay, so watch this. Gearbox across. A little turn down here to Sport Plus. Let's drop it down a few cogs. Watch and listen to this. <laughs> what a machine! It does everything. Okay, so straight away, this car is amazing. It really is. But here's something. This car's got a heated steering wheel. And I was just sat at the centre back there thinking, oh, that'd be lovely, let's put it on. I couldn't find it. I had no idea where it was until I accidentally went behind the steering wheel down here and it's there. The heated steering wheel button is hidden behind the steering wheel. It took me ages to find that. But anyway, got quite a drive back home and be honest with yourselves. If you were given a Porsche for the weekend, what's the first thing you would do? Why is the first thing? You text your mates and you go and show them so let's go do that so we've made it back home and as i said first thing you're going to do when you've got a porsche for the weekend you're going to text your mates aren't you so let's see what he thinks of it so what do you think do you know what it just kind of blew my mind a little bit because <laughs> when you think a state car you don't think a porsche when you think a porsche you think little compact tight neat fashionable you don't think big bad boy like this it is awesome though isn't it it is absolutely awesome and that first acceleration how'd that make you feel <laughs> my ears popped <laughs> like going up in a plane <laughs> oh. Oh, i love the way this thing looks you know felt raw. Yeah. Do you know what? Like sitting in other cars and fast cars that are just nice and comfortable and cruisy. And then you sit in this and it just went. I could get used to this. Yeah. So could I to be honest. It's a shame I've only got it for a few days, but And do you know what? You know, it, it just kind of completely changed what I thought about Porsches as well. And I think that's the point. Everything I thought about a Porsche changed the minute I got in this car. It's just, it's epic, isn't it? Like, the interior is just, it's stunning. And then this paintwork, mamba green. I love the green. I love the green. And 
you know, I spent years growing up thinking Porsches, supercars, fast cars, things like that are going to be basic inside and be rough around the edges and not have any frills but this has got frills, bells, whistles I love it, I absolutely yeah. love it A very good morning to you all as I'm sure you can tell by my very tired looking face it's currently 10 to 4 on a Saturday morning it's not all glamour this filming business you know we've got a fair drive ahead of us just jumped into the Panamera and I tell you a nice little feature because this is a hybrid you can start it in fully electric mode so I haven't woken up any of my neighbours well let's hope I haven't woken up any of my neighbours but I've got a fair drive in front of me I've got my trusty Chili's bottle which actually I've stolen from my girlfriend as you can probably tell and my heated seats are on my heated steering wheels are on, my massage seats are on. Let's hit the road and get to our first location of the day for filming the Taycan. just arrived at the first location of the day. The Panamera driving up here was just supreme. The heated seats, fabulous. The massage seats, they were lovely. And the way that it covers miles, just beggars belief. But anyway, we're at the first location. Pan's parked up. Just over there is the Taycan. So, let's crack on with the day, shall we? <laughs> So, time for a little update on today's proceedings. We're about three quarters of the way through filming. The Taycan is plugged in here, but I just wanted to show you the pan because this has been our camera car. And well, let's look at the boot space. So it's 425 litres officially, but I mean, that is pretty phenomenal. That is an awful lot of gear. Now, when we've done shooting in the past, we've really struggled to actually get all of our gear in the back of a car, but this thing, this is mega and it's just it's been a fabulous fabulous thing and here i mean it's it's green so it kind of blends into the background but the amount of looks that this car is getting it's getting nearly as many looks as the Taycan. yeah i think i'm in love with this car and i very much want it but yeah just thought i'd give you an update on how the car's faring it's uh it's doing a cracking job and most of the time it's keeping up with that Taycan, which is pretty special but anyway, Taycan's nearly charged. We're going to head over to the Peak District and carry on filming there. So I'll catch up with you guys, possibly, on the journey home. So, it's the end of the day. It's saying I'm going to get back at half past nine. The day started at three o'clock. It's been a very long day, but it's been a good day. With the Taycan, which, well, you would have seen the video by now, is absolutely exceptional. And, I, and this, the Panamera, has been faultless. Absolutely faultless the whole day. It's been brilliant. But anyway, I'm gonna sign off now, and then get home, get some sleep, and do it all over again tomorrow. Good morning, it's day three with the Panamera and it's day two of our Taycan shoot. Yesterday was unbelievably long, it was about a 70 and 18 hour day in the end. But hopefully you think the results are worth it. Now, today we're heading up north again, but today's shooting is a little bit different because we 
they've got access to a barn slash warehouse never seen it before but it sounds like it's going to be epic so today is all about getting the smoky beauty shots that are the start of the Taycan film so I've got about 76 miles to drive just pop my heated steering wheel on and let's get cracking with day two of the Taycan So just like that, my time with the Panamera has come to an end. We've just finished our final shoot with the Taycan and it's time to take this thing back to Porsche Centre Chester. And how would I sum up the experience with it? Well, before this, before having this car, I wasn't a massive Porsche fan, I'll be completely honest. Before this weekend, I wasn't a big Porsche fan. But after spending some time with this car, after driving the mind-blowing Taycan, I'm definitely converted. This is wonderful and this car is actually for sale at Porsche Centre Chester so if you'd like any more information on it do please give them a ring. I'd have this car in a heartbeat. I've done a lot of miles in this over the weekend traveling from location to location chasing the Taycan and it's performed faultlessly in every single scenario that we've put in. I love the interior. I love the fact that it's hybrid as well. I love that. I love the fact that first thing in the morning at half past three, or whatever silly time it was on Saturday morning, you can jump in, start it up, and drive off in fully electric mode, not waking up your neighbors. I love the steering wheel. I love the displays in the center. The infotainment system does take some getting used to, there's no doubt about it, and it probably is slightly dated now, but it's still more than good enough. I love the massage seats, I love the heated seats, I love how comfortable these seats are, I love the panoramic roof, I love every single stitch on everything. I'm completely besotted by this thing, and I think the colour of this car and the specification of this car is wonderful. You've seen how practical it is with all of our stuff in the boot. It is... It is the perfect companion for munching those miles. It's been a joy, a genuine joy and pleasure to drive this car. It really has, and my word does it get a lot of looks on the road. <laughs> Lots of looks. And then if you really want to get a shift on, it's so ridiculously quick. Pop it into Sport Plus, drop it a few cogs and it's just it covers ground at such a pace and the noise that comes out of the back of it from that v6 is just wonderful i am besotted by it and i haven't actually found any annoyances with it as i mean the only thing is that I, the infotainment system is probably a tiny little bit out of date now but that's such a small, insignificant detail, isn't it? It's been wonderful, absolutely wonderful, and I hope you've enjoyed this very different style of video where I've, I've tried to just be much more relaxed and it's just a diary of the last few days. And I hope it gives you an insight into how much goes into our videos. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Do please hit the like button and subscribe to Ride Rook TV. And as I've already mentioned, please go and head over to Porsche Centre Chester to check out some of the cars they got for sale, including this one. I will see you guys next time.